Welcome to Activity 3 in the Music Math Module, Composing Music. These activities will build upon what we have already learned in the Music Math Module, parts of one pattern, and integrate those parts with parts of another pattern to develop sequences. As always, let's go over materials for these activities. You will need the four count rhythm patterns that you have previously developed. You are moving through these lessons in sequence, aren't you? Markers, pencils, crowns. 8-inch squares of paper or cardboard, but you could also use sticky notes to save space and paper, glue sticks or tape, scissors, paper, construction paper. You'll also have to prepare ahead a little before the lesson, so create two measures of four-count rhythm patterns using four 8-inch squares placed in a square on two larger pieces of paper. Make one measure using the symbols for four claps and one using the symbols for four stomps and place these on a wall where everyone can see. Now that we have all of our materials and have prepared our two four count measures, let's dive into activity one, large group composition. This step should take us about 20 minutes. Start by reminding students of the rhythm patterns they made last time. Maybe even go over a few as a class to get them primed. Explain that now they are going to arrange their sounds to create a new piece of music. Point out the two four count measures that you have prepared for this activity. Ask students to clap the first measure together, then have them stomp the second measure. Explain that now it is an eight count piece of music, and have your class perform it all together, four claps and four stomps. Guide your students in a steady beat by tapping your foot. You could also introduce a metronome if you would like one and it is available to you. Ask some questions like, what does it sound like? Is this an interesting piece of music? Why or why not? Once you've gone over it and taken some questions, have the students create two new measures, each using two elements from the first measure and two from the second. In our example, two claps and two stomps. You could cut the original measure into pieces and tape them into a new piece of paper to demonstrate. Have students repeat this new eight count piece several times. Ask them the same questions. How does it sound? Is it more interesting? Why? At this point, you can introduce a challenge. Create another piece of music with just these two symbols and eight counts. Now have them cut out or reposition their sounds in a line, one after another of eight sounds and have them construct two additional measures of four sounds each. Repeat this new eight count piece several times. Ask students to describe this new composition. How does it sound? Move on from this to activity two, community composition. This activity should take a good 40 minutes. Split the class into three or four person music groups and give each group its original four count rhythm pattern from last time. Ask your groups, then, to use this measure to create an eight-count piece of music by duplicating and recycling the sounds and patterns. Have each group perform its eight-count composition for the class. Ask the students to describe their compositions. Lastly, have each group write four four-count measures of song and perform them. Then have the groups perform their compositions simultaneously. Ask students to describe what it's like to have the musical groups come together like this. Changing the Equation, After School Math Curriculum brought to you by Explora. Funding provided by Sandia National Laboratories. Find more Changing the Equation videos at explora.us slash changing dash the dash equation.